Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, you know, for a variety of decisions in the pr true prevention studies, we lost a few years because the best molecules didn't go into those studies. So the solanuzumab, Ganternu, or GMAB as I call it, I can't even really say it, it's hard for me, um, and uh, cronuzumab were the ones that studied and they showed the least clinical impact, the least ability to re reduce amyloid, although gantanurumab does. And whereas we didn't test any of the three agents that really show clinical benefit, uh, aducanumab, uh, um, denetumab, and lacanumab, in those prevention studies, although Lily and lacanumab I know are now in those, you know, it's, it's still unclear exactly what the design, we haven't heard all the details, or I haven't yet, I know that maybe they're out there. Um, so, you know, with aducanumab, it was unfortunate because these true prevention studies take years. And so we, we lost almost a decade of, and because uh, I think that's the real question. If you gave these to people 10 years before they were going to get cognitive decline, could you stave that off by 10 years or more? That would be the true public health impact. I do have worries that it's an antibody. And can you really do prevention studies with an antibody given the cost, the challenges of infusion? But there, there does, at least limited data says, the earlier you go, the less chance you have for side effects. And that, so the safety profile may increase. Uh, but I, I think that's, that's the big thing that, and, and it also says that we have a lot of work left to do because it's clear that uh, there, there may be individual responders who don't decline. We don't know that, over, that well over time. We don't have that data yet. But uh, for the most majority of people, this is simply slowing decline. And people want better than that. I mean, if you're, and, and there are a lot of unknown questions with all of that, but it, it just says we have, it appears that there are amyloid independent mechanisms that contribute at the later stages of clinical symptomatic stages of Alzheimer's disease to cognitive decline. And we need to be able to successfully understand what those are and target them and, you know, really try to not just slow the disease down a bit, but really try to stop it in its track. So we, we've won a battle, we haven't won the war. <laughs>